As the focus of the most recent episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, Megami Fushiguro has unlocked and shown off a new dimension of power and skill with his domain expansion. And considering the fact that the domain's techniques and unique properties are never established in exposition in the anime or manga officially, I felt it necessary to explain the abilities of this domain expansion, Chimera Shadow Garden. <laughs> By the way, if you guys do end up enjoying these shorter explained videos and want to see more videos where I break down aspects of the Jujutsu Kaisen world, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified to when I upload. In any case, back to the video. Now, when it comes to Megami's domain expansion, unlike characters such as Gojo or Mahito, he's not at the level where he can currently expand his domain easily and freely. In order for him to actually expand his territory or his domain, it requires for him to build up his cursed energy a lot, build up his shadows as well, and explode both of them at the same time. And even with this slight amount of prep time, for the current point in the anime, Megami can't make a complete domain expansion, as he not only tells us this that it's incomplete, but we can see from the fact that the curse he is fighting is not completely encompassed in a separate space, like Gojo's immeasurable void, or Mahito's self and body of perfection. Very similarly to these domains, however, the activation is indicated by the core of his curse technique expanding and encompassing his opponent. So just like Mahito's hands reach out upon activation or Gojo's infinity expands upon activation, the core of Megami's technique, his shadows, flow out freely and envelop his opponents within them. These shadows, however, are not just for show. As well as representing Megami expanding his domain, we see that these shadows slow down and encumber his opponents, grabbing at their ankles and trying to hold them down. These shadows are in fact so annoying and cumbersome that even a special grade curse that he was fighting in this battle is overwhelmed and tripped up when caught in this attack. We see that this allows for Megami to take advantage of this slowed down opponent and get in several attacks against them without much guard. If that wasn't enough, just like you'd expect from a domain expansion, it amps Megami's base stats, allowing him to actually be fast enough and strong enough to tag and damage a special grade curse in close quarters combat, where in contrast he was getting completely bodied and one shot by it. On top of his already amplified speed, via the shadows that exist within his domain and surround his opponent, Megami is able to travel at super high speeds by either moving on top of the shadows as if he were surfing, or using the shadows as a medium to travel through and get across without any awareness from the opponent. The abilities of his shadows don't just stop there. Because with these same shadows, Megami is able to essentially make a decoy clone of himself. A <laughs> shadow clone, if you will. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! This is shown as the cursed spirit he is fighting against shoots through his head with cursed energy. And instead of taking damage, shadows simply dissolve around him, indicating that he can either make duplicates of himself using these shadows, or just before an attack makes contact, Megami is able to use a shadow substitute to avoid taking hits. Currently, we don't know if this is a one-off sort of ability, something that he can only use one time in battle, but assuming Megami becomes more adept in the usage of his curse technique and domain expansion, it's not a stretch to say that he might be able to spam this ability and make it even more useful in battle. With his same shadow manipulation, he is also able to use other people's or curses in this instance shadow as a medium to hide from their senses and catch them completely off guard, as he does in his first showing of his domain. Now something that I personally found really interesting, albeit with it kind of brushed over, is the fact that when the domain expansion is active, it allows for Megami to summon more Shikigami than he usually can, and allows him to bypass the normal barriers and limitations that his abilities have. We see in the anime that Megami is able to summon two new way from the shadows and have them bombard the curse with their speed and electric stunning ability. This is something that he can't do outside of his domain expansion. We know this to be true because Megami has to be extremely wary of a Shikigami getting destroyed. If he was able to just form another one as easily as he does in his domain expansion, this simply wouldn't be a problem. And when you consider the fact that Megami has much stronger, more destructive Shikigami than Nue, the potential of this specific ability is nigh limitless. Imagine for a second that within Megami's domain expansion, all 10 of his Shikigami that he has at his disposal are summoned behind him, forming from the shadows. And as he faces a strong opponent, he unleashes all of them and uses his strength to the fullest. Obviously, within the realm of the anime and even in the manga, he can't do this just yet, especially with the massive fatigue that the domain expansion caused him currently. In fact, it's so draining on him that right now, after unleashing it, he vomits and passes out cold from the stress of using this. All in all, I think that this episode was a faithful, amazing, and intense portrayal of Chimera Shadow Garden. From the OST switch to the intense color shift as his domain explodes and the shadows flow with it, I think that this overall was really well done and a great portrayal. And as the only other human to display a domain besides Gojo, Megami puts himself among some very interesting and powerful company. 
Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this explanation of his domain and want to see me cover other Jujutsu Kaisen topics in a similar manner, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on my uploads. Links to similar videos will be in the description below and in the end screen for you to enjoy at your own leisure. And as always, this is Broken Ronin, signing off.